You're watching News 4 In-Depth. People are still buying. People are still selling. The only better time to buy was yesterday. But how do you afford it in this high demand market? Get a house now and then just refinance a couple months down the road. From buying incentives to mortgage rates, we'll share the secrets to saving. Got us some big Bertha window with a ton of natural light. And meet the San Antonio real estate agent whose unconventional approach to home selling has made him a TikTok sensation. Right now on News 4 In Depth. Good evening and welcome to News 4 San Antonio In-Depth. I'm Mandy Noel. I'm Jonathan Martinez. Tonight we are taking a deep dive into a topic that impacts us all. Whether you are a current homeowner, you're buying, selling, or even renting, we'll be breaking down everything you need to know about the real estate forecast right here in San Antonio. We'll also have all of today's headlines in the News 4 snapshot and your weather forecast. There you go. But first, let's take a look at how home prices have changed in San Antonio in the past couple of years. According to Orchard, back in February of 2019, the median home price in the Alamo City. It was about $210,000. Things slowly increased over the next three years with a spike in June of 2022. That's when the median price was more than 319,000. Although things have tapered a little right now, the median home price is about $278,000, which is more than $100,000 less than the national rate. Bear County is feeling the growing demand for housing. Right now, the housing inventory is tight with so many people moving here. Real estate experts tell us in Bear County, we have about 3.7 months worth of housing inventory. And with this population boom here, housing demand is expecting to keep rising. Getting new builds on the market is essential to keep up. It's supply and demand, right? If we get more supply out there, that's ultimately going to lead to lower prices or, or, or prices being more stable or coming down. Some of the issues that builders and developers are dealing with are supply chain shortages. So it's being it's being more it's more expensive to build. And on top of that, the high interest rates also make it more costly to start projects. But there is hope. National mortgage rates have been slightly lower after peaking at nearly 8% last October. Data compiled by bank rate says a 30 year fixed rate today is on average about 7.2%. The Federal Reserve announced at its last meeting that it will hold off changing rates, but could make cuts in the future. Some OK news, right? The Fed meets again on March 20th, where it will announce an updated outlook. Get a house now and then just refinance a couple months down the road and get a way better rate without the competition. All right, that's the advice from local real estate agents after San Antonio saw an 11% spike in home sales in January. That's compared to the same time frame as last year, and it is the biggest sales increase in nearly two years. Apartments and townhomes saw about a 40% decrease as people move into the houses that they just bought. Real estate experts say the decrease in mortgage interest rates played a big role in that spike. So we're talking about a whole point, which may not sound like a lot, but you're talking about hundreds of dollars a month. So you people are getting to the houses, their payments are less. All right. Although if mortgage rates keep decreasing, real estate agents say more than likely housing demand will increase and so will home prices. So if I don't make the intersection of 1604 by 710, the traffic is backed up and it'll take me at least 31 minutes to get to work. The road construction on the 1604 expansion project is causing major delays lately, especially along the 1604 and I-10 interchange. But realty experts say the project isn't keeping people from moving to the area. If you could get into that area, you're you're making a long term investment because it's already one of the hottest areas and you get rid of that traffic. It's going to be one of the greatest. Realtors say homes in that far northwest side corridor are selling almost twice as fast as the rest of the city. Now, despite the demand, the dream to own a home in San Antonio is much more realistic compared to most of the country. People are still buying. People are still selling. The only better time to buy was yesterday. Second best time is today. It just um, you need somebody to to kind of sit with and explain to you all your options. And there are a lot of options. Real estate experts say April through June are considered the busiest home selling months. San Antonio is also a popular place for renters. Data from Point2 finds that renter occupied units made up 48% of our housing market. The rental vacancy rate is at 7.5%. The average rent, $1,290 a month. 
It's about 1% less than last year. Families renting a house are paying just under $2,000 a month. There are money saving options for renters. 1,000 affordable renters are under construction in San Antonio. Some of that funding comes from the first ever affordable housing bond passed in 2022. New affordable housing projects are approved for six of the city districts. The affordable housing bond also has some money designated for new home construction. More of the budget is going to home renovations in an effort to put more single family homes on the market at a reasonable price. So we want to know, do you own or do you rent your home? We have a poll up on our website, news4sa.com. Head over there now, chime in. We certainly want to make things simple for you, whether you want to buy, sell, or perhaps rent. Reagan Williamson is a chair elect of the San Antonio Board of Realtors. He joins us right now with some sound advice on the subject. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for All having right, me. So let's break it down very easy. So you got three different topics here. If you want to buy, sell, or rent, what do people need to know about all of them? The first thing you need to know about all of them is you really need to come alongside a professional. And I'm talking about a realtor. And that realtor is going to be your guide and your voice as you navigate the waters of buying, selling, and or renting. You're going to need their advice because they have access to the data that's going to help drive your decision ultimately at the end of the day. And talk to us about perhaps some of the incentives out there and why now may be the time to buy. Well, if we look at J January alone, there were about uh, 2,000 solds. And of those 2,000, almost 700 were new construction houses. And a lot of these builders are offering some pretty fantastic incentives, including rate buy downs to really kind of push down that rate that we've been all struggling with in 2023. So those incentives are there. And it's also if you're a new home buyer or first time home buyer, mm -hmm. first time home buyer, we also have uh, a, a first time home buyer resource available to all of the members of the community. They can access this by contacting their local realtor and they'll they'll plug them into the, uh, the the down payment assistance program mm -hmm. wonderful program takes advantage of over 60 government programs to help with that down payment assistance as well you touched on a little bit ago rates mortgage rates where are we expecting them to go do we think they're going to go down stay the same and what kind of an impact is it going to have yes yeah, so i don't have jerome powell's phone number in my pocket <laughs> not, yet, right? not yet not yet at least but i am paying attention to what's going on so we saw a little decrease last week about 10 basis points and when the feds reconvene it said that we're probably going to see 25 basis points or about a quarter percent decrease coming up in the month of May. So I really hope that, that hope that that will open things up for a lot of buyers and increase their buy bracket a little bit for them as well. So right now when we see the cost of living right now, of course, it's hitting a lot of people fairly hard. But when it comes to them saying it's hurting me when I need to save up perhaps for that down payment, maybe closing costs, things like that. Uh, what do folks need to know about that and, and what should they be aware of? Great. Well, that down payment assistance program is one thing that they need to be get, getting dialed into as well. Some of the closing costs costs that they can expect, they can negotiate, you know, using their realtor, their realtor will guide them on how they can negotiate some of those closing costs, not only for the sellers who will be motivated to sell their homes because we're seeing an average day on market of about 69 days, but lenders as well want to get these deals closed for their clients and put them in their house. So there are incentives available. You just need to be working with that professional that knows those incentives and how to, how to tap into that market. So I live out Far west side, see a lot of subdivisions popping up oh, there. Yeah. And anywhere else you really drive, you see a lot of subdivisions pop up. What is the outlook, would you say, overall for San Antonio in the years to come? You know, I love San Antonio because slow and steady wins the race here. We do not seem to be on a rocket ship trajectory up or down one way or the other. We're either going at a nice pace up or a nice pace down. And right now I see some slow, steady growth for us. Builders are entering the market significantly at this particular time. Buyers are entering the market again. They're getting their arms around the rates. I just mm -hmm. put a buyer in a contract for 6.3. 5%. I know that sounds kind of mm -hmm. crazy, but it's getting to be more realistic than where we were at almost 8% sure. a year ago. All right, Reagan, some great advice there, a lot of insight. Thank you for taking the time for yep. us and coming in today. Thanks for having me. All Appreciate right. it. Mandy? Thanks. New data shows San Antonio is at a 95% occupancy rate for retail space, the highest it's been since the pandemic. So what does that mean for us exactly? Commercial realty experts say there are several contributing factors. Many businesses are coming to the Alamo City from out of state because of the rapidly growing population. When new businesses come to town, they have to use existing retail space because of the lack of new construction projects. New shopping centers being built. There are no more, um, at least under construction at this time, because construction costs are too high. The high demand is causing retail rental space prices to soar, and that could have an impact on what business owners pay. Businesses have to raise their prices to cover the higher rental prices. On the flip side, office space has not fully recovered since the pandemic when more people started working from home. One solution could be converting office space to apartments.
Having a 140,000 square foot office tower turned into a apartment house. And so that has, that's, we have, I, I at least haven't seen a, that executed flawlessly yet. Um, when that does happen, you'll see traction in the investment sales of office again. You know, a lot of groups are monitoring the industry. Experts say they're waiting on case studies before making that move. Well, across the state right now, we are watching some thunderstorms north of our region. This is a severe thunderstorm watch from San Angelo up towards North Texas into Oklahoma. These are super south thunderstorms ongoing with a little bit of rotation. So these storms are worth watching in the hours ahead, but they will stay north of our area for us across our four zones. We're overcast, we're humid, and we are watching a few very isolated showers right now. DeWitt County seeing a little bit of rain just to the uh, west of Quero, and that continues to move to the north. So over Overall, the next few hours it's going to be more cloud cover and high humidity. Big drop in humidity for your Friday. Full forecast coming up. Still to come, you may have seen him on Instagram or TikTok. We'll introduce you to this San Antonio realtor. He shares what motivated him to take an aggressive approach to home selling. And millions of dollars could be headed to San Antonio. What is expected to fund? That's on the way to the News 4 Snapshot. You're watching News 4 San Antonio. Good evening, I'm Melissa Vega, and this is your News 4 Snapshot. Millions of dollars could be coming to San Antonio from the appropriations bill President Biden expects to sign later this week. The San Antonio water system will get just under a million dollars, and 1.3 million will go to the city's Ready to Work program. We'll break down how the money will benefit you tonight at 6.30. The San Antonio City Council is looking into how to keep funding the Migrant Resource Center where migrants stay before traveling out of San Antonio. Four options were presented to the City Council today. The Council didn't make any final decisions. They first want the operators of the center to look into other funding avenues. And people are upset and angry today after the City of Uvalde released the results of an independent investigation into the police department's response to the Robb Elementary School tragedy. The report said Uvalde police had no policy violations when it came to the department's response to the mass shooting back in 2022. We'll have much more on these findings tonight at 10. And that's a look at tonight's News 4 Snapshot. I think she's beautiful without makeup. Now that's how you take a six to a 10. Next, meet this San Antonio re realtor whose aggressive tours have gone viral. And I'm Don Harris straight ahead. Two local teams trying to claim a state championship at the state tournament at the Alamo Dome. The latest straight ahead. Pretty odd placement here. You've got your pantry. Pick any snack you want other than me. Ha <laughs> ha, that's Brad Scott, the San Antonio area realtor who records so-called aggressive tours of his property listings under his handle, Brad the Realtor. He's made a name for himself on social media, over 140,000 followers just on Instagram. Scott says he only sells new construction homes. His videos show him walking through, touring a property, using descriptions that uh, aren't always safe for TV, so we've had to edit around those. Scott says, in the world of perfect, over-filtered, cookie-cutter aesthetics seen in many real estate marketing posts, he wanted to find a way to stand out from other realtors. He tried new marketing tactics for four or five years, and then finally one day, he came up with a new one. Be yourself. Say what you would say to somebody uh, who's been your friend for four or five years. And once I, once I edit it and put it all together, uh, I decided to name it Aggressive Tours because it definitely was very aggressive. And I had no idea, no idea it would explode the way that it did. Mm -hmm. Scott says he sells all across the region where new construction is booming north of 1604 and elsewhere too. And here are the current results of the poll that we do have on news4sa.com. We asked if you own or if you rent and the results right there, 78, I believe, percent are saying that they own to 22 percent who say that they currently rent. We would like for you to weigh in, though. Send our website and click to vote.